Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shri Vanilla. Today's topic is Complications of Diabetes Mellitus. What is Diabetes Mellitus? Diabetes Mellitus is a chronic clinical syndrome characterized by hyperglycemia due to a deficiency or defective response of insulin. Complications of Diabetes Mellitus Complications of diabetes are seen in almost every tissue and organ of the body due to biochemical and structural alterations as a result of hyperglycemia. The complications can be broadly divided into acute metabolic complications, late systemic complications. Acute metabolic complications, diabetic ketoacidosis, hyperosmolar non-ketotic coma, hypoglycemia. Diabetic ketoacidosis. It is an exclusive complication of type 1 diabetes. It can develop in patients with severe insulin deficiency combined with glucagon excess. The precipitating causes are failure to take insulin and exposure to stress. Pathogenesis. Severe lack of insulin causes lipolysis in adipose tissue, releasing free fatty acids into the circulation. These free fatty acids are taken up by the liver to be oxidized to ketone bodies, principally acetoacetic acid and beta-hydroxybutyric acid. Presence of glucagon accelerates this ketogenesis. As ketogenesis continues unabated, there comes a phase where these excess ketone bodies produced cannot be degraded by the muscles and the other tissues resulting in ketosis. It manifests as anorexia, nausea, vomiting, deep and fast breathing, mental confusion and coma. However, most of the patients recover. Hyperosmolar non-ketotic coma. It is usually a complication of type 2 diabetes. It is caused by severe dehydration resulting from sustained hyperglycemic diuresis. The loss of glucose in urine is so tense, intense that the patient is unable to drink sufficient water to maintain urinary fluid loss. The prominent clinical features are of central nervous system. Thrombotic and bleeding complications are frequent due to high viscosity of blood. The mortality rate is high. Hypoglycemia. It is seen in type 1 diabetes patients. It results from excessive administration of insulin, missing a meal or due to stress. These episodes of hypoglycemia may damage central nervous system permanently and are therefore dangerous. There may be rebound hyperglycemia called as Somoji effect due to worsening of diabetic control. Late systemic complications. Either type of diabetes after 15 to 20 years produce a number of systemic complications which are responsible for morbidity and mortality. Atherosclerosis, diabetic microangiopathy, diabetic nephropathy, diabetic neuropathy, diabetic retinopathy, infections. Atherosclerosis. Development of atheroma in diabetic patient is accelerated when compared to general population. The diabetics also have extensive lesions and often have complicated plaques such as ulcerations, calcifications and thrombosis. The possible contributory factors for this accelerated atherosclerosis is hyperlipidemia, reduced HDL levels, non-enzymatic glycogen, Causation, increased platelet adhesiveness, obesity, and associated hypertension. The outcome of this complication is in the form of early onset of coronary artery disease, silent myocardial infarction, cerebral stroke, and gangrene of the toes and feet. Diabetic microangiopathy. It is a thickening of the basement membrane of small blood vessels and capillaries of different organs and tissues such as skin, skeletal muscle, eye, kidney. Similar type of basement membrane like material is also deposited in non-vascular tissues such as peripheral nerves, renal tubules and Bowman's capsule. This thickening of basement membrane is due to recurrent hyperglycemia which causes increased glycosylation of hemoglobin and other proteins. Diabetic nephropathy. It is a common complication and leading cause of death in diabetes patients. The four types of lesions seen are diabetic glomerulosclerosis which are diffuse and nodular lesions of glomerulosclerosis, 
vascular lesions such as hyaline arteriosclerosis of efferent and efferent arterioles and atheromas of renal arteries, diabetic pyelonephritis and necrotizing renal papillitis. Tubular lesions are Armani abstention, diabetic neuropathy. It affects all parts of the nervous system. Most characteristic lesion is symmetric peripheral neuropathy. Basic pathological changes are segmental demyelination, Schwann cell injury, and anoxal damage. The pathogenic mechanism may be either due to diffuse microangiopathy or due to accumulation of sorbitol and fructose as a result of hyperglycemia leading to deficiency of myoinositol. Diabetic retinopathy. It manifests either as background or proliferative retinopathy. There is also predisposition for early development of cataract and glaucoma. Infections. Susceptibility to infections such as tuberculosis, pneumonias, pyelonephritis, otitis, carbuncles and diabetic ulcers is increased due to impaired leukocyte function, reduced cellular immunity, poor blood supply due to vascular involvement and hyperglycemia. Thank you everyone. Hope you all like the video. Please like, share and subscribe.